This is Streamline News for Monday, November 7th, 2011, brought to you by SwimOutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. Ian Thorpe's comeback was expected to dominate headlines from the World Cup stop in Singapore this weekend, but Thorpe missed out on the final in the 100 Butterfly on Saturday, a day after finishing 7th in the 100 IM. Thorpe told Swimming Australia afterwards that, quote, I would have liked to have make the final, but I'm happy with how I've swum. Thorpe will now prepare to swim in the Beijing stop of the World Cup tomorrow and Wednesday, and then Tokyo this weekend. Thorpe is part of the start list in tomorrow's 100 Freestyle in China, in addition to the 100 IM and possibly the 100 Fly, though the start list for the Day 2 events have not yet been posted. This will be Thorpe's first time swimming in the water cube since he did not compete at the 2008 Olympics. Meanwhile, Chad LeClaude dominated in Singapore, winning six events and extending his lead in the overall World Cup points race over Japan's Hidemasa Sano, who did not even compete in Singapore. On Saturday, LeClaude won the 200 free, the 100 fly, and the 200 IM. On the women's side, Therese Alsamer is now tied with Missy Franklin for the lead in the overall points race, but Franklin, along with third place Aljan Schmidt, are both maintaining their amateur status for NCAA competition and will turn down prize money. We've looked at the point standings going into the Beijing meet and it appears that there is no way either LeClo or Alsamer can lose the overall lead and the $100,000 they each will get. LeClo is 41 points ahead of Sano, who would have to run the tables in Beijing and Tokyo, and LeClo would have to falter badly. As for Alzheimer, she's tied, as we said, with Franklin, and anyone who had a viable shot of taking down Alzheimer is not competing in the final two meets, so Alzheimer can rest comfortably knowing that she is winning the overall prize for the second straight year. Eamon Sullivan has withdrawn from the remaining World Cup stop, citing a, quote, mystery illness. Sullivan says he came down with a bug at the World Cup stop in Moscow and has dealt with flu-like symptoms since and still doesn't feel 100% and returned to Australia yesterday. This is not the first time Sullivan has withdrawn from an international meet due to illness as he pulled out of the 2009 World Championships with a similar explanation. Several top American swimmers competed at a meet in Bolzano, Italy over the weekend with Natalie Coughlin earning four wins in the 100 IM, 100 free, 100 fly and 50 free. In the 100 IM, her self-proclaimed favorite event, she swam a time of 58.72, which is the top time in the world this year and her personal best, just missing Ariana Kukor's American record of 58.65 from the Short Course World Championships last December. Meanwhile, Nick Thoman led American sweeps in both the 50 and 100 back as Randall Bell and Adam Manya took second and third respectively in both races. Tyler McGill took the win in the 100 fly in Bolzano. Cullen Jones and Josh Schneider were second and fourth in the 50 free. And Mark Gangloff was second in the 100 breast. Back here in the States, the women at the University of Michigan hosted teams from Florida and Stanford in a two-day dual meet, which featured long course competition on Friday and short course competition on Saturday. Florida defeated Stanford 194 to 169, while both teams took down the Wolverines. Elizabeth Beisel continued her winning ways this season, posting a 4.4301 in the 400 IM long course in her fourth swim of the day on Friday, and she returned Saturday to win the 200 back in short course in 156.18. The Michigan men hosted Texas and Indiana this weekend, and the Wolverines upset the Longhorns by one point, 150.5 to 149.5, while both teams beat Indiana. Texas senior Jimmy Feagan lit up the Canham Natatorium with a 1979 in the 50 free and 4366 in the 100 free, both the top times in the country. Defending NCAA champion Eric Friedland won the 200 breast, but Texas's other individual NCAA champion from last season, Michael McBroom, lost to Ryan Feely in the 1650. Meanwhile, the women from Cal Berkeley blew out Washington State on Friday, 160 to 89. The reigning NCAA champion Bears won all 14 events contested, with freshman Catherine Breed, fresh off winning two gold medals at the Pan American Games last month, winning both the 200 and 1,000 free. The Texas women demolished their in-state rivals, Texas A&M, on Saturday with a score of 197 to 103. Texas finished first in every swimming event except for the breaststrokes, where Aggie sophomore Bria Larson outdueled Longhorn rival Lara Sogart. Larson did not compete at long course nationals this summer due to health problems, but she bounced back with times of 59.73 in the 100 breast 
and 210.25 in the 200 breast. That time in the 100 breast is more than a second faster than anyone else has swum this season, and the 200 breast is also first in the nation. Texas A&M has announced that it will move to the SEC next fall, so the two teams might not meet each other in a dual meet again next season or for several years down the line. The Auburn men and women took out Penn State on Friday with defending NCAA champion Ariana Vanderpool Wallace setting the top time in the nation in the women's 50 free in 22:34. Louisiana State defeated Alabama in both football and swimming this weekend as the Tigers swept the men's and women's meets against the Crimson Tide. Leading the way for LSU is Amanda Kendall, who won four golds at the Pan Ams. Kendall won four events again, including a 49-18 hunter free. You can read more about college swim meets around the country at our college channel at SwimmingWorld.com. USA Swimming National Team Director Frank Bush was on, on Friday inducted into the University of Arizona Hall of Fame. Bush served as head coach at Arizona for 22 years before stepping down after last year's NCAA championships to succeed Mark Schubert at the helm of the national team. Bush coached 48 individual NCAA champions and led both the men's and women's teams to NCAA team titles in 2008. Three swimmers were also inducted into the Hall of Fame along with Bush, all of whom were former NCAA individual champions. Marshy Smith, Simon Burnett, and Lyndon Ferns. New 1500 world record holder Sun Yang showed off his talent outside of the pool recently, singing in a performance at a Chinese award show. Sun won some awards for his outstanding performance in the pool this year and celebrated on stage with a production number that included strobe lights and dancers acting as swimmers. However, it would appear that Sun actually was lip syncing, so you probably don't want to book his musical talents for your next party. That's going to do it for Streamline News today. Thanks for watching.